Welcome back to Morning Glenn, everybody. I'm Kirsten Holmes. I'm Walt Gray. Let's get to all of today's national and local top stories. In about five minutes, quickly, we get into Daily Blend. Starting with a live look at the conditions on I-80 at Donner Summit. Yesterday, it was closed for hours. Just too many accidents in this terrible weather. We do have team coverage for you on this very busy, Marcus Allen calls it fly day morning. People heading out of town. ABC 10's Carlos Herrera standing by in Sacramento with a look at the aftermath of all that wind, rain, leaves, and debris. Brittany Begley has a look at road conditions on a very busy Thanksgiving travel day. First of all, let's check in with Carly Gomez with a look at the weather conditions right now after a wild, windy night. Oh yeah, it was wild, wet, windy, snowy, everything you could think of. And I know we've been uh, talking about the lack of rain lately. I think everyone uh, in Mother Nature even heard us turn on the switch and said, there you go. Maybe not when we wanted it, though, in time for Thanksgiving. All right, temperatures, we are chilly this morning, and we will continue to feel the cold air, especially with a wind chill factor, as we're still getting some of those winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. 44 in Sacramento as well as Stockton, 43 Modesto, Marysville, Tahoe at 24 degrees. We'll see temperatures drop a little bit more in the next hour before sunrise. But for the most part, we're still a couple of degrees warmer than we were two days ago. All right, let's take a look at these winds. We're about 16 mile per hour winds in Sacramento. We're looking at 10 mile per hour winds. Marysville at 16, 10 in Auburn. And this will be right around uh, now. We'll start to see these uh, numbers dropping as the winds start to slow down. We'll see them right around 5 to 10 miles per hour around lunchtime. And then by tomorrow, they should be rather calm. All right, scattered showers. Take a look at this because we're seeing a lot of the heavier rain closer to where the foothills are, then transitioning to snowfall. Now, some of the snow levels have risen just a bit. Sacramento, though, looking for the most part just mostly cloudy, and this is what we can expect today. Some patchy areas of rain, and then some other places not seeing it. So on and off, scattered showers throughout the day. And that's what we're going to expect to see even moving into Thursday, Thanksgiving. And uh, I expecting also to see some thunderstorm chances. So just be ready for that. When you see some yellow areas on the radar like that, and maybe a little bit of orange and red, that's a quick scattered shower dropping just uh, below Sonora there. And then expecting to see some more of that happening as we move into Thanksgiving. Now, Brittany, she is keeping track of all of the accidents. And we have had quite the accident list going on, Brittany. <laughs> That is the truth. So from the roads to the skies, we're looking out for you. If you're picking up someone from Long Beach, your 8 a.m. flight, that's been delayed an hour. If you're headed to Santa Ana, your Southwest 7 a.m. flight delayed an hour. You can see some folks excited to head out for Thanksgiving, but expect long travel times as you head to the airport. All right, let's get down to business, the things you really need to know about. You can see Caltrans tweeted this last night of the poor driving conditions. As you head out right now, a portion of 80 is shut down westbound at Truckee. Eastbound, you're gonna see slower drive times. It's shut down to all trucks at Applegate and chains are required on vehicles. US 50, so you're gonna see those slow drive times in that area, Placerville to Meyer. So a lot going on in the area. We will update you throughout the morning. As we take a look, also take a look at this picture quickly. You're gonna see slower drive times across the map, but we have almost, take a look at that, 15 uh, different active accidents right now. If you're headed out for Thanksgiving traffic, according to AAA, the worst time to hit the roadways will be this afternoon. You're gonna see heavy drive times. You can see delays up to four times of what you're used to. Modesto to Sacramento, 59 minutes. Stockton on 5 northbound, we're looking at 39 minutes. Traffic is a mess, wet, slippery roadways. We'll update you all throughout the morning. Okay, 5.34 is the time. Let's take it out to Carlos Herrera. He has found Land Park Drive in Sacramento. I drove down that way coming into work this morning, Carlos. It was just a horrific mess. Yeah, a mess or a, a lack of better word this morning. Fortunately, though, it's just a mess and people who stayed home today and will stay, stay home for the Thanksgiving holiday will have to clean up this mess. Take a look here. These are two trash bins that were knocked over by the wind. They're blocking the sidewalk here. Of course, this will have to be cleaned up later this morning. Some people uh, will be waking up soon. As we walk over here, you can see leaves and leaves on the ground. This is a big pile here in front of this home. Of course, they've been piled to the sidewalk, but we've also seen a lot of leaves uh, near the road and of course branches and debris as well. Now, the big concern with these big piles of leaves here is that they, look how deep they are. They nearly cover my ankle, so they will clog up these storm drains. And that of course causes a lot of puddling, flooding in some cases. So you'll definitely want to watch out and slow down if you're driving in this area, not even in Lamp Park, but through Sacramento. Another big concern is the wind that continues to blow. Take a look at the leaves here. 
you can see them they'll continue to fall uh continue falling on the ground but that's not the concern the concern is how these branches continue to fall those big branches often fall in front of roofs of homes causing that damage but often we, we really see those uh, trees completely uprooted and falling on those homes that's really dangerous thankfully though Walt we haven't seen that kind of damage this morning but again you, you live in this area you drive by it around a, a lot this is a big mess for folks who clean up today, tomorrow, and possibly for the rest of the week. Yeah, people had leaf piles out on their street for pickup, and they just blew away yesterday. I mean, it was really uh, windy. So uh, when folks wake up more, get the rakes out. And we'll all try to pitch in wherever we live. All right, thank you, Carlos. Uh, Got to keep those storm drains clean as well. Kirsten. All right, so we've been focusing a lot on the Sierra, but like Carlos showed us, the valley is having its own share of problems from the storm. You know, Sacramento is the second most flood-prone city in the U.S. That is after New Orleans. So how does the city prevent that from happening? They use this big system of pump stations, and there are 150 of them across the city. As you can kind of see, there's like towels, rags, anything that would normally get caught on a massive pump. We're pulling all that stuff out. All right, so ABC 10's Mike Duffy took a tour of one of those stations to find out how it all works. You can see the full story on our website abc10.com. Now let's get to some other top stories right now in your daily blend. Severe storms. More than 100 million Americans in 32 states are under some kind of weather alert right now, all because of two powerful storm systems. All this weather is kind of following things up. Overnight in the Midwest, a winter whiteout in the Twin Cities where up to a foot of snow is possible. Parts of the Rockies are digging out from feet of snow, all dumped by the same storm. Mudslide warning. Wet weather is helping firefighters battling the cave fire near Santa Barbara. But the rain poses another threat because it could mix with the burn areas to create mudslides today. In January last year, a downpour on burn slopes east of Santa Barbara unleashed a massive debris flow that killed 23 people in Montecito. Balloons in jeopardy. 16 giant balloons are a game time decision for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Why? Because of winds that could reach 50 miles an hour. Depending on the wind, hey, we could bring this balloon down to 20 feet. Hey, we, this one could fly up to 30, depending on the size and, and the weight of the, uh, of the balloon. Either way, parade officials will start inflating the characters this afternoon. And that is your daily blend of news and information. If you've got something you want to share with us, when you see it online, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10.